Hey guys, how's it going? It's only 4 here. Um, welcome back to another Destiny video. In today's Destiny video, we're going to be taking a look at another weapon in the Crucible. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the heroic mode weapons. Because we're going to be taking a look at the hand cannon, the Fever and Remedy. It's a medium rate of fire, medium impact hand cannon, with some good range, some okay stability, okay reload time, and a 10 round magazine, which is very good for hand cannons. When it comes to perks, First of all, we have the passive perk, Whirlwind Scurse. This weapon does bonus damage against Fallen, bonus agility when this weapon is equipped. We're going to be running Accurate Ballistics, which gives us more range and impact, but it also increases our recoil. After that, we have Reactive Reload. Reloading this weapon after a kill grants a bonus damage for a short time. After that, we have Hammer Forge, which once again improves our range and accuracy. And after that, we have its special perk, Quick Reaction. Gain increased agility when the reactive reload perk is active. When it comes to looks, this weapon looks great. It has all that SIVA stuff on it. It's really SIVA fight. All the wires, the little SIVA thing sticking out of it. It also has a big SIVA symbol on the side. So it's really nice. I really kind of like most of the raid weapons when they're very SIVA fight. But I think that's not really talking about the weapon. So let's actually go into a game. And let's see how we do. Alright, so we joined the game in progress here. And just look at the sand can. The sand can looks real nice. Alright, 59 to the body. Not bad, not bad. Let's check to the head. Oh, wait. Reactive reload. Let's activate it. Oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> I was just waiting for him to go around the corner. Oh my god, that guy's lagging bad. There we go, he finally died. Wait, what? What? What is that shit, Bungie? What? <laughs> Where are you going, Titan? <laughs> I think that Titan realized he was screwed. Is this they're still heavy around? No. Oh! Oh god. Come on, reload, reload. I gotta kill. Ah! Not quick enough. And that is a hammer. Where is this hammer? You're in the lead. Oh! It was 117. Okay, that was 117. So that turns into a two shot. But you need to get to fighting the other guy pretty quickly because reactive reload does not stay there for long. But hey, if we got anything out of this game we joined halfway through, is that you can two shot people. Potentially. Lost the lead. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a lot of people right there. <laughs> I was not going to beat all those guys. Especially at that close range. No, that was not going to happen. Oh, that guy wanted to kill me. No. Maybe, yeah, you can really see the the extra agility, and then you just lose it and starts to and start to slow down. Yeah, extra agility is nice. Stop them from going back there. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe they're just lagging. This morning, there's been a lot of lag in the crucible. We're into a lot more lag. Oh, they're still back there. Alright, I got one. Yeah, this, this hand has some, has some pretty good range. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the 100 damage! From reactive reload. Ah, I didn't activate again. I guess I was too slow on reloading. Throw this in there. Oh, they're all dead. Never mind. I just wasted my tether. Just die with the grenade. Uh oh. Yeah, that's an enemy hammer. We we don't wanna be here. Oh! They're all together again. <laughs> they're all together over there. Can't really see much. 
I got a double <laughs> and then just died by the dead guy, of course. All right, so guess what? We did another game, game in progress. No, teammate, I couldn't help you, teammate. You know, bad thing about the reactive perk on this weapon, the reactive reload perk, is that the weapon doesn't reload so fast. So it takes quite a while to actually reload it. So maybe if they want you to like take advantage of react reload a lot, maybe they should have given it, you know, a little bit faster reload. Oh come on. Oh okay. My teammate got him. It's fine. But no. It's bungees. It's bungees decision. <laughs> oh you can really just feel the speed. Oh uh, I wouldn't say it's as much as Battle Runner, because Battle Runner's speed is so much. But you can feel it definitely. Come on, hit something on. There you go. Oh my god. Ooh! <laughs> Those 117 headshots, though. Those 117 headshots. They're so good. Alright, let's throw a smoke at them. They actually ran away. Ah. No, why you ran away from my tether? Speed! Okay, the speed is gone. That guy has a shotgun ammo now. So he's very dangerous. Alright, let me back up. Oh, that hit the ghost. <laughs> Those bullets hit the ghost. Missed that. Okay, that was just... That was just bad decisions. Show your face. God damn it, I fucked that up. Oh my god, that guy got destroyed by the fusion rifle. No, 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 Titan, Titan, no. <laughs> Stay away with your fucking shotgun. Alright, so. Oh no, fusion rifle guy. Oh my god, I'm so close to that. Okay, they made him run away. Ah, oh, come on, teammates. One more kill. One more kill and we win. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. I really like this hand cannon. This hand cannon is nice. It doesn't just look cool. But it's actually very, very good. And if you want even more range, you can actually switch uh, Hammer Forge for Reinforced Barrel. And take some of that stability away. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Comment down below, what do you think of this hand cannon? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's not good? And also, tell me in the comments if you have it or not. As always, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.